Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our breastfeeding tips. Also, visit our blog. I'll have it up here on the screen and linked down below for more breastfeeding advice. Today, we're covering the cradle hold, one of the most classic and beneficial breastfeeding positions. Let's dive in and see how to use it and why it's so great. First of all, let's talk about why the cradle hold is such a fantastic option. This position not only promotes bonding, but also supports a good latch. It's easy to master and allows for flexibility. Now, let's go through how to get into this position and make the most out of these benefits. Start off by finding a comfortable spot. Sit in a chair with good back support using a nursing pillow to support your arms. Getting comfy helps you feel relaxed, making breastfeeding easier. This comfort contributes to the bonding experience as you'll be more at ease during your nursing sessions. Place your baby on your lap with their body facing you. Their head should rest in the crook of your arm. This close proximity is perfect for eye contact and helps strengthen your emotional connection. Next, ensure your baby's head is aligned with their body. This alignment supports good latch as their mouth will be at the nipple level. Use your free hand to support your breast and guide your baby's head towards the breast. Bringing your baby to the breast rather than leaning forward helps you stay in a comfortable position and avoid back strain. When your baby latches on properly, you will notice they're able to suck effectively without causing pain. This proper latch is crucial for successful breastfeeding. Support your breast with your free hand, making a C shape around the areola. This guidance helps your baby latch deeply and comfortably. Don't forget to adjust your position if needed. The cradle hold is quite flexible. You could use it while sitting up or reclining slightly with a pillow for added support. Its adaptability makes it easier for whatever works best for you and your baby. Make sure that your baby's mouth covers a good portion of the areola and that you don't feel any pain. You might hear your baby swallowing and their cheek should be rounded. So there you have it. With just a bit of practice, you'll find it becomes easier and easier. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with other moms. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. We'd love to hear from your experience down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Happy nursing. Until next time.